हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल टेक्निकल नॉलेज विद इंजीनियर दिस वीडियो इज फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट ऑफ सेकेंड ईयर सब्जेक्ट इज बी ई ई दैट इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर इन दिस सब्जेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट लेसन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इन दिस लेसन देर आर मेनी बेसिक्स टर्म्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ई एम एफ करंट रेजिस्टेंस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस रेजिस्टिविटी कंडक्टिविटी पावर एनर्जी ओम्स लॉ सिम्बॉल्स आर यूनिट ऑफ ऑल इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑल द टर्म्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो द वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इज अ पाथ थ्रू विच इलेक्ट्रॉन और इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फ्लो एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम मेकिंग वन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट देर इज अ रेजिस्टेंस and bulb is supply that is a bulb is connected to the battery and there is a switch which is a close it is a positive terminal and a negative terminal electric circuit consists of electrical component electrical components are resistance here yeah, that is a potential difference it is also known as the battery in a common language we all use the battery but when we study all the electrical circuit the name is potential difference and that is a switch and that is a bulb okay then after this we will see the terms which is commonly used in the electric circuit let's see the first term that is emf so the full form of emf is electro motive force as we know that metals contain the free electron this free electron moved randomly in the atom but when we apply the external source that means the battery this electron move in a one direction from this we can define uh, emf emf it is a pressure or force through which which electron or electric current flow flow in electric circuit okay so that is the definition of emf next is current current is the rate of flow of charge flowing per second that means when in a circuit the current uh, electron is moved in a one direction there is formation of the current we can make the formula that is current i equals to charge by time 
that is I equals to Q by T. That's all about the current. So the next term is resistance. Now we will see about the resistance. Resistance. Resistance is a property which opposes the flow of current. Simply we are understanding that the property which oppose the current it is known as the resistance. Resistance is denoted by the R notation. From the Ohm's law there is a formula for the resistance that is R equals to V by I. The term is potential difference. It is the amount of energy that charge carrier have between two points in a circuit that is known as the potential difference. It is denoted by V and have the formula that is V equals to Ri where R is the resistance and I is the current. After that fifth term is resistivity. Before defining the resistivity from the law of resistance R is directly proportional to length and R is inversely proportional to area of cross section of the conductor. So from this we can write that R is directly proportional to L and inversely proportional to A. For this we use the constant that is rho L upon A. This rho we know that that is the resistivity. We can define that the constant which is used it is known as the resistivity. So the sixth is conductivity. It is the reciprocal of resistivity. It is denoted by the this symbol. That means if we derive the formula conductivity equals to 1 by resistivity. Seventh term is power. That means the electric power. The rate of work is done in electric circuit is known as the electric power. It is denoted by P and it has the formula P equals to W by T. In other words, power is also defined as it is the product of voltage and current. So the next eighth term is electrical energy. The total amount of work done in an electric circuit is called electrical energy. After that electrical energy has the formula equals to voltage into current into time. That means from that we can also define as electric energy is the product of voltage, current and time. Ninth term is Ohm's law. The Ohm's law has the statement that is the potential difference between the two ends of a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. Provided its temperature and the other physical parameters remain unchanged. From this statement, we can write the potential difference that means voltage. 
is directly proportional to the current flowing through it that means i for this we use the proportionality constants that is r r into i where r is the resistors the resistor last term term is symbol unit of electrical component so the first is current has the symbol i and the unit is ampere second is voltage has symbol v and unit is volt third is power having has the unit watt and the symbol is p fourth is per has the symbol w and the unit is joule fifth is resistor have the symbol r and the unit is ohm sixth is resistivity has the symbol rho and unit is ohm meter seventh is conductivity having the unit ohm to the power minus 1 that is reciprocal eight is the charge having the symbol q and unit is coulomb ninth is time having the symbol t and the unit is second If you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the channel